Now to Belgium, where a manhunt has entered a fourth day for a heavily armed extremist. Investigators say the soldier stole arms from a military base and then disappeared earlier this week. Authorities are now combing a national park. The suspect is known for his right-wing views, and he made threats against a scientist who is leading the country's response to COVID-19. Selena Sykes has the story. Day four of the manhunt and still no sign of Jürgen Konings. More than 400 troops in Belgium are mobilized in the search for the 46-year-old, who may be planning to attack individuals or institutions, according to authorities. Believed to be heavily armed, Konings went missing after making threats against institutions and public figures. The army shooting instructor has been on an anti-terror watch list since February for his extreme right-wing views, but was still able to access weapons, a security lapse that has put considerable pressure on the government. The echte question ja, is, is this possible that someone who is on the OCAT list, someone who has already had threats in Ja, dat die man binnen defensie toegang heeft tot, uh, tot wapens en die wapens. Konings first came to authorities' attention after he was disciplined for making racist remarks on social media. He has also threatened Mark van Ranst, Belgium's top virologist in charge of the country's COVID-19 response, who has been repeatedly targeted by coronavirus skeptics and the far right. He and his family are understood to be in a safe house. Troops supported by special forces from the Netherlands and Germany have been combing through a national park in northeast Belgium near the Dutch border. After a car believed to be owned by Konings was found on Tuesday containing four missile launchers and ammunition, police have warned the public not to approach him.